Hello everyone, it's Three Face Janus, and I'm going to have to point out something here that uh, will probably become pretty obvious once you get to the actual video. Uh, the game audio on the this episode and the next episode was lost due to a bit of idiocy on my part. So I'm going to have to put over uh, just different music so that you're not just watching the game in my voice with total silence otherwise. So, uh... Anyway, let's get right to the video. Hello, everyone. I am Three-Faced Janus. And, uh, well, I don't really have my 2% milk. I've got some water, though. Uh, well, when you're thirsty, you know, water probably does a better job than milk, at least in my experience. Anyway, I'm finally back. And, uh, yeah, not exactly the friendliest welcome wagon. All I gotta do is end Seth's turn, and then I'm gonna get beaten up. That's not, that's not nice. These people aren't nice. Ah, uh, yes. Seth, it's good to know that some things never change. Just the way that you draw attacks like a magnet draws metal. Uh, gotta admire his endurance, you know? Oh, yes, uh, that... I don't think I brought it up earlier, but uh, this is our first encounter with poison weapons. And uh, they pretty much do what you would expect. Uh, oh, you jerk. Uh, if they hit... Uh, a character they get inflicted with poison which like in any game ever made deals damage every turn or every one of uh, that unit's turns and uh, that was a good heal that healer has, must have good stats oh by the way uh, look here the troubadour uh, the enemy troubadour's battle sprite does that remind anyone of Ashley from WarioWare I mean it looks just like her to me but anyway she's got a little red devil though not a horse Anyway, uh, one thing that I realized uh, while, or in between recording sessions here, is, uh, well, one, you know, there are these spiders, they're the spider, rather. I think there may be another spider up there somewhere, but that rarely, if ever, becomes a problem if it exists. Um, but yeah, so the spider, uh, like I mentioned earlier, is going to come down here and gobble up the villagers if we don't do something to stop it. And uh, my original strategy was to use Vanessa to rescue the uh, citizens individually, which turns out is actually a very stupid idea. Instead, the best thing that you can do is uh, move Vanessa to this space, and because the spider will never move out of its this linear path, uh, it'll never get to the kids as or the citizens. Only one of them is a kid. Uh, as long as Vanessa is alive. And uh, unless I'm stupid... Okay, good. She actually has multiple vulnerabilities and an antitoxin. All right, yeah, because she visited the village, I think. Yeah, we got that from the village. So, uh, yeah, she's really in no danger of dying. And uh, meanwhile, over here, uh, it's pretty, just, pretty much just a matter of deciding who I want to get the experience. Because <laughs> uh, one thing I did learn while doing a little bit of uh, off-screen research is that... Uh, Funny note, the random number generator that determines, you know, whether or not attacks hit and that sort of thing uh, that they use in, uh, you know, lots of games, uh, you know, that actually has to be programmed in every game that it's in. And all right, that those last two uses of the iron sword let us level up. Excellent. Um, yep. That may be the first time we've had a weapon break on the screen. I'm not entirely sure. Uh not necessarily a good thing. Uh, so, uh, occasion! Instead of hooray. That's what I'm going to say from now on, whenever something happens. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the random number generator for this game is actually noticeably more merciful than uh, the n random number generator for, say, Fire Emblem 6. Uh, and the like. Or maybe... I always call it Fire Emblem 6, but what I actually mean is Fire Emblem 7. And when I say Fire Emblem 7, I mean Fire Emblem 6. So I'll just have to pardon my terminology on that one. Um. Oh, hey, you can double with the hatchet from afar. That's the power of Ross. Now you're playing with real Ross. Or maybe it's more, now you're playing with power. Ross power. Cause, Cause it's a play on raw power. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So Erica could use some healing. No, not. I didn't say Joshua. Did 
Did you hear me say Joshua? Because I'm pretty sure I said Erica. I mean, they both end in A, but that's a very small similarity. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to cut to a break here before I run out of time for this section. And we're back. Oh, wow. Deja vu. All I have to do is end Seth's turn, and then I'm going to get attacked. That's not very nice. For yourself, because only an idiot would attack Ross. I would sing the do what you want because a pirate is free thing, but uh, I can't sing, so I'll just let the sound clip take over. Do what you want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You are yeah, I think that'll do. Oh, Seth. Will you ever stop being amazing? As, you know, a non-combatant. Oh, that... Wow, that could have killed Erica. Holy crap. It's a good thing that it didn't. Although, you know, that wouldn't have been a problem if I hadn't been so trigger-happy with the A button. But I digress. I don't like the citizens are going to do anything. All right. I could be in a better spot, but I've gotten out of worse situations. Uh, first thing I'm going to do... Oh, wait a minute. I see, the way I usually look at these things, is, or situations like this, is I just t kind of ignore the healers at first. Even though you may think that getting rid of them is sort of a, you know, priority. Uh, you know, they're not the ones that are, you know, going to be killing our units. You know, you want to focus on the people. You know, count up and see if you can manage you know, to get rid of all the people uh, that can actually hurt you and then deal with the healers later. Um, now she isn't going to attack anyone from there. At least not until later. But anyway. Uh, let's see. So we've got three of those guys and we've got Joshua, Colm, Naomi, and Ross. So there's Andros again. And Erica. So, uh, yeah, I think we can get rid of these guys. Maybe. Uh, do I want to use... Yeah. Oh, why not? She might get a critical. Oh, who called it? Who called it? Oh, yeah. For the level up, too. Get out of here, you poison axe. Oh, that was a good level up. Yeah, then... Uh, let's see. So this guy has... Oh, he has an iron blade. I thought he had a lance. Uh, that doesn't mean that Ross is necessarily that... Well, what am I saying? Ross is great no matter what the weapon triangle says. You can't let the man get you down. Yeah, if uh, Colm gets hit here, I'll just have Natasha use the men staff instead of heal. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! Man, I'm getting lucky criticals a lot. That's great because uh, this is actually the second take of this uh, before I had set it to... Uh, or set my recording uh, options to the wrong microphone. And uh, I was far less lucky in that uh, run. So, huzzah! And now Joshua gets hurt after I accidentally heal him. Typical. Typical. And uh, now I'm going to move Seth over here. Or er, wait. First I'm going to have Ross kill the Troubadour. Yeah, that'll do. I'm sorry, Ashley. I like your micro games and all, but... Uh, sorry, this it's war, you know? It's advanced... It's not advanced wars, so it's not fun. Well, it's fun, but, you know, it's not happy. We got an elixir. Not bad at all. Um, it really doesn't matter what I send. Uh, I guess I'll send the vulnerary. Um... Yeah, and now I'm going to have Seth move over here to try and draw down the axe user. Move Naomi over here for support. And then uh, have Natasha heal Colm. And fast forward! Yeah, that probably doesn't make that much of a difference, but... Uh, anyway, uh, 
So anyway, we're almost out of time for this segment. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is move an S over, which we'll see in about five seconds. Do what you want, cause apparently free. You are a pirate. Your heart being a pirate is already Do what you want, cause apparently free. You are a pirate. And we've returned, and now I'm going to do exactly what I said I was going to do. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop scaring me, game. I thought when it put the cursor over the girl like that, I thought the spider was using some ridiculous uh, ranged attack. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, whoa. Oh, look at that damage. Yeah, that's because uh, he's using a halberd, and uh, if you notice that the little symbol was glowing, uh, that would be because... Stop healing, Naomi. It would be because uh, halberds are effective against cavalry if you didn't know, means horse riding units. Oh, and uh, I don't believe I showed this. Uh, notice how the iron axe here in this enemy's min uh, this little subscreen is glowing green. That means that it's a drop item. So once we kill him, uh, whoever killed him gets the iron axe. And uh, on some maps, that'll be more important to know than others because, you know, you'll be on battlefield uh, procurement, I think is the word. Uh, but, you know, if it's just an iron axe, you know, only one of my characters uses axes, and he's already got two of them. <laughs> so, yeah, not really a problem. Uh, yeah, I think Naomi could use a bit more experience. Wow! Naomi, you are a beast. You know that? Oh, and here's a funny thing, too. Even if you kill a unit with a drop item with range, you still get the item. So it's like, in his dying breath, he threw the iron axe towards Naomi, but she just caught it. <laughs> At least that's what I like to think. Now, uh, who wants to kill the priest? I do, I do. I think Ross will. Just, you know, more experience. Oh, that looked painful. Oh, come on! <laughs> Ross! Ross, come on! You miss an 82. Well, I guess it's better that you did it now than later. And now that uh, Colm's going to move over here, we're going to probably be able to see the boss. Yep, there he is. And uh, hello down there. Can I help you? Um, Joshua could use a little bit of healing, although Erica probably needs it a bit more. Yeah, I hate that the fast forward kind of messes up, messes with the sound a bit. But hey, sacrifices need to be made sometimes. Okay, now I'm going to once again use Seth to try and lure out people and have Vanessa just stay there. And now we're going to see how well Vanessa uh, fins off spiders. Not very well, I see. Really not very well. Extremely not very well. Come on! Oh well, I don't really need her to kill the spider, and besides, she is just level one. Oh, shut up. Do you not see the Pegasus Knight taking the hit for you right in front of you? What an unobservant kid. Hey, you hurt Seth. Congratulations, man. That's not an easy, easy feat. And, uh, yeah, Vanessa got poisoned, but, uh... Eh, uh, you know... I'm going to use a vulnerary instead of an antitoxin because, I mean, it's way more important that uh, I heal the damage dealt than I do to cure the poison. Just kind of logical thinking. Um, let's have Colm get this guy. Or uh, maybe not. Can Naomi get him? I bet she can. And my bet is correct, unless she somehow misses. Hmm. Seeing as quite a few of my people have actually gotten uh, hit, you know, aren't at full HP, uh, one thing I might want to do is before I take on the boss, uh, just run around with Natasha healing everyone so that Natasha gets a lot of experience that way. Uh, well, that'd probably be a good idea. Um, I would say that I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen between videos, but uh, yeah, we still got a few guys to clean up. I'm Pretty sure he's not going to be moving, and if he does, I really don't care because he's a soldier. Uh, so once we clean up the enemies, I'll 
uh, go on a healing trip, and then we'll face Novala himself. Join me then, please. <laughs>